Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews and you're probably wondering why I've got this hideous, massive bush kind of thing in front of me. So most of you who follow me on Instagram will know that me and my husband have been growing our own chilli plants. This is one of them and today I have been requested to try one of the peppers from here. Now I do know that there are spicy peppers and as most of you know, I've got an acid reflux, I've got dyspepsia, I'm not really supposed to eat any spicy food. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to try it because I think I'm the best candidate to try it as my husband's palate, he'd be just like, well, it's tasted this, as I would find it a little bit more different. We also grow habanero. Now this one was bought by uh, my sister-in-law, which was my husband's sister. And the one which I'm going to try, which is this little baby, this was bought by two of our really good friends, Gemma and Stu, and these were for Christmas. These have been growing roughly since April. So as you can see, it, this one is a full plant. There is lots and lots and lots of peppers actually seeding and growing. So this is nowhere near at the end finished. They kind of go like a, a darky greeny color and then some go like a chocolatey brown color. And then eventually they turn into this nice red color. So the green peppers have, have absolutely spanned out in our kitchen. We've got some that are varying at this size at the minute. So these are really good plants. They were bought from seeds, by the way, guys. We were bought with a plant. They were seeds. We've planted them in the pots themselves. We've used, like I think it was either tomato feed or something, because we did have tomato plants. They've all gone now. Um, so, yeah, so the purpose of this video is if you are going to buy any pepper plants from seed, it is worth it. Just persevere. You have to feed them regularly and make sure they're in a nice open um, light space because they do like the sunlight as well. So guys, I actually have this tiny little bit of pepper. I am scared to death of trying this and um, I've got water because you usually know when you've got hot food, you're supposed to drink milk, but I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have milk. So this is going to be um, interesting. So after three, I'm going to bite into it rather than just swallow it because I might have to spit it out. So I really am sorry in advance if you, you see me spitting out any kind of food. So let's go for it. So it tastes like seedy. Oh, she. And I swore. Oh my God. Do I have to keep doing this? <laughs> Well, guys, <laughs> if I'm explaining to you, I'm trying to try to stop the chew. Ooh. I'm still chewing. Guys, I don't want to swallow this. I'll be complete. <laughs> oh, I'm going spit out on camera, but it's burning. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> stop. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna kill my husband. I'm gonna kill. Uh. <laughs> I really want to explain to you what I'm feeling right now, but. <laughs> uh. So, the, it's getting worse. The burn. Ah! <laughs> Guys, this is a torture. <laughs> my tongue's on fire. Now my gums. Oh. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm going to quickly try and explain what I'm feeling. So guys, initially it felt very, like, tasted a bit seedy. And then instantly it was a little bit of a, like a fruit burst. This is really killing me. And then it was like explosion of heat. And I'm trying to keep the heat from the back of my throat, guys, but it's really hard because I need to swallow. My tongue is on fire. Mm, mm. Guys, I can't stand hot food, and this is the reason why I don't understand if anybody <coughs> eats hot food. Oh! Mmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Water does not cool it down, guys. I've got to tell you, I might have to just brave it and have some milk and feel really ill. But <gasps> So my mouth is still burning. My lips here is burning. Even, <coughs> oh God, now it's gone to the back of my throat. <coughs> I'm going to be sick. 
It's really hot, guys. They're really hot. My eyes are starting to water. Oh, God. They're really, really hot. I would not like to try the habanero. I have never... Oh, God, no. Guys, I have got acid reflux and <laughs> the acid's starting to come up my throat. <laughs> I'm going to be sick on camera. Mm. <coughs> mm. <laughs> I really need some tissue. I need some tissue. So, guys, if you want me to explain or kind of tell you what I feel, my nose is running, my eyes are stinging, my tongue is on fire, my lips are burning, my gums kind of feel a bit numb, and it's it's like my whole tongue's on fire. I remember, oh God, <coughs> it don't get any better guys. It really, I wouldn't like to have swallowed that because I really don't know what that would have done to my stomach or the lining on my stomach, but I think they're blowing my nose. Um, yeah guys, so if you like your food hot, like my husband does, then this is perfect for you to add to your curries or your chili. Sorry guys. <laughs> oh God. I don't know what else to suggest to get apart from milk. I'm going to have to have some milk to get rid of this burning sensation. But now, because I've had to swallow, it's gone to the back of my throat. It's calming down just a tiny bit, guys. But, I, oh, no, it isn't. <coughs> no, it isn't. It's starting to go down the back of my throat. I don't like hot food, guys. So this is torture for me. All I can say is um, this is a very good plant. If anybody likes spicy food, I know my husband's going to enjoy eating his peppers. Um, and my mum probably would as well. But for the likes of like me, Zach, obviously, my kids, my dad, we don't like hot food. <laughs> I don't like My brother would like this. I might have to pick some off and give them to my brother. But guys, that is it. That is my red hot chilli um, kind of tester. I hope you like it. Pop in your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you want the links to any of the, I don't know if my husband knows where they were from, but put your comments up below. And um, guys, I live to see another day. So um, oh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs> oh.